uh, when he did the character based on HBK, which I guess stemmed from the real life heat right. that Dwayne had with him over I, what I heard. And I guess, uh, you know, I'm an outsider. So uh, some shit over Leah Maya Villa and some things that uh, Sean might have said about uh, her and her promotion. You hear that Sean was perpetually arrogant. Um, you also hear, and I'm wearing the shirt for it this week, that um, he may have kept some people down uh, in the promotion. That I know that's a, that's generally assigned to the whole clique by by some folks, but uh, I call this the Tatanka shirt, by the way. Um, and it's just a name that you always hear was problematic for others in the company. Am I wrong to 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 believe this? I, I would say that um, Sean doesn't have the greatest of uh, track records before he got injured and left. I think when he came back, his second stint when he came back and did the Hells in the Cells, and I think that that was a completely different Shawn Michaels. So the time, uh, the injury, and the time off. You're saying and, was... and grow. I think that he also. I think he he didn't think he was going to be able to continue. I think that he thought that um, that his dream had been been basically cut short, his run to be cut short. And on top of all that, you know, a lot of those years that um, he didn't participate um, were big money years in the in the industry for top guys. Um, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the rock stuff, that was, I mean, that was after he came back from the injury. So, but I don't know. Everybody was still very, very territorial. You know, it was, I'm, I'm sure they, they would be to this day, you know? And I'm it, doing uh, a project outside of this uh, that you know about, and it deals with the click uh, pretty significantly in this project. And something that I'm kind of learning from working with this other person is that though there was some self-serving nature to some of the decisions you guys made and some of the things you guys did in the company... Most times, you were talking about the company in general. Yeah. So even if it, if it was moving one of you into a position, it was because you thought. The, but it was it was also lobbying for other guys that you thought made for a better product at a time where you know the WF product could have gone either way. So, but would you say that that was consistent for Sean in his for Sean Michaels? In his decisions and in his So you have to realize that I can only speak from a fucking 93 to 96 window. Okay, so let's just talk about that because that was the... <coughs> and, and that was, I mean, that was when the click was in its... Uh, I mean, we didn't even call ourselves the click. You know, Davey Boy came up, I think, with that name. Like, we didn't call ourselves the click. Um we, you know, we were just guys hanging out together, and it just when I right, that was a name know, that came later. But yeah, when, when I walked in the door and got in the got in the car, and Duggan was sitting up front, and me and me and Sean were in the back seat, and we're leaving that first raw, and he said, "By the way, man, everybody hates us." He's talking about him and Scott. He's like, "Everybody hates us." And I'm like, "Oh, this should be fun." And then, like, I got along with most everybody. So when we had to, like, grub pills off people, they'd always go, Kev, Kev, you go, you go. They like you. Because they wouldn't want to share with them. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't want Nobody would give them motherfuckers anything. Some but, rainbow stew? Yeah. Um, so, all right, well, I mean, you became friendly with Sean, but it, uh, was there ever a time, maybe when you first came in, where you thought it could have gone another way, where he rubbed you the wrong way? No, you like, oh, this because he, he 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 requested me, you know, you know, 
I was the guy. Like he, it wasn't like, hey, there's four guys. It was like, I want Nash. I know he's in a contract. They said, no, that's not fun. We're not going to fuck around with him. He said he he told Robbie Steiner that he can get out of his contract. And when I found out that I could be with Sean, I knew that they were putting a rocket up his ass. I was like, fuck yeah. So I came in, and he was cool to me. And why wouldn't he be? Because he did need a bodyguard. You know, I mean, it was it was it was a shoot on you know in the ring and 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 on the road. You know, and then we had Scott with us, and you know, the only time Sean ever got fucked with was up in Syracuse when they split us up. You know, mm-hmm. and I told I went in events the next when I got home from that trip. I said, this isn't a work. It's a shoot. I need to be with him. I need to, I need to take care of him. Like I, you know. Well, that right there, that, someone who needs a bodyguard in in real life. Well, he was also a handsome guy, and he'd walk into a bar and fucking the, the, the jack off that fucking just put, you know, he's got his girlfriend. She's oh my god, that's Shawn Michaels. And Shawn was never that guy. Shawn was never somebody that was out chasing fucking ass. Shawn was too. Shawn was. Fucked up by the time we got it in the bar, you know? But he needed, that's what he needed. He needed somebody to fucking watch his back because we, we by the time we got into the fucking, you know, whatever the disco was in Utica that night, <laughs> fuck, you know? But I mean, what, yeah, I mean, but... There that's was no we, behavior that rubbed people. Oh, listen, Tommy Rich was a great-looking guy. He was over. He didn't need bodyguards. What was it about Sean? Different era. Was it a like Rob said, a uh, an energy, a bad energy? You didn't see it. I got pissed off at him, but he was he was ultra competitive, and we all were. We, we all wanted more money. It was like, I guess when you got five guys, I mean, it was like the click was trying to fucking get into the the vault of, you know, this bank. So we were doing a bank job. So the five of us, everybody knew what their job was, and we were, we were working on fucking opening the safe. That's what we were worried about. We really didn't give a fuck about anybody around us. The five of us were opening the safe. You know, I just found the film, everybody. It took That's us it. six or seven months, but I just found the movie. Let the slapstick begin. Um, Bob Holly, you sometimes hear, was uh, was stiff. He was stiff. That was that wasn't that wasn't the Bob that I knew when I was in the business. Like I said again, ninety three to ninety six. That wasn't the Bob Holly I dealt with. Bob was opening match or second match. Worked his ass off, stayed quiet. Him and him and Sid fucking were training partners. He loved to go to the gym. He fucking dieted. He ate fucking smart. He wasn't a fucking drunk. I had no problem with him. But some other workers did, and and was that the main issue? The stiffness. I like. I mean, anytime I I've mean, been around know, Bob, I've liked Bob very much. I, I think that I, I mean when, when we had that one uh, stiff one when he was gonna. Basically, fucking dissect uh, yeah, Ken Kennedy. Make make fucking uh, Leatherface. <laughs> no, uh, the, the make Gacy look like fucking the, the Peace Corps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, do we have an a intense do we, do we, cat? 